Uh, for me, the key to making bread is how it feels. You can follow recipes, and but really, we, I learned to put your hand in there and feel it. Is it sticky? Is it stretchy? Is it soft? Is it light? Those are what you get to know and you feel it. And once you've learned the feel of how to make bread, the recipe is only secondary. It's really kind of your senses. What I love about barbecue is if you, when you think about barbecue and you think about when you're going to a barbecue, it's always a celebration. It's the food of, of celebration, it's the food of family gatherings, it's the food of just having good times. And that's what I love about barbecue. Um, I've been in the barbecue community for a long time and just everybody I get to meet is just a kind of a social fun time where you get to know each other and you're all kind of doing it for the love of barbecue. What's really neat about barbecue, if you think about it, nobody cooks a brisket for themselves. A brisket is always cooked for somebody else. And that's what I love about it. I think what was so special about Julia Childs is her authenticity. And that is from being precise and really focused, but then also kind of being real and humble about what it is. And as, even as a professional chef, we all have challenges and things can be difficult, but she would kind of just let that slide and kind of just keep going on what she was trying to do. And I think we all kind of, I think TV shows the honesty in what she was doing, which is realness and how people actually cook. I had an opportunity to meet Julia and it was at a really fancy event. And, and then I turn around and she's standing right next to me and asked for a pulled pork sandwich. And I'm like, you have all these choices. She goes, I just want pulled pork. And I'm like, this is awesome, you know. To me, it kind of exemplifies that she is a lover of food and all food.